Do you only like kiting when you're on your smaller kites? Oh yeah, eight great, nine prime, seven heaven. Well, what about the 13 machine? I've had so much of my progression on bigger kites and today's tip is to ride on bigger kites more often. I'm Mike McDonald, otherwise known as Get High With Mike and welcome to another episode of Just The Tip Tuesday, where I give you Just The Tip. Meow. Just The Tip Tuesday. <laughs> I'm in Tarifa, Spain right now. I love it here and I've had so much progression kiting here in a lagoon on my 13.5 XL5. This is where I learned to do barefoot skis, Jesus walks, my first dark slides, board offs and inverted rotations. So many tricks. So I can tell you firsthand that bigger kites are the key to progression and I'm going to give you four reasons why. First of all, this might be obvious, but practice makes progress. The more often you kite, the better you're going to get. And if you only have smaller kites, that means you're not kiting on those lighter wind days, which means you're missing out on chances to hone in on those skills and learn new things. So if you want to get good ready fast, get a bigger kite. Second of all, a lot of you guys who are watching my channel are into big air and jumping high. And a really important part of performing well at big air is having good edging techniques such that you can hold lots of power and use that power to jump high. But it doesn't help if you're always out on your 9 meter and even when it's light you're swinging the kite. You need to learn to ride in a powered state. So if it's not strong enough for you to be powered on your 9, you should grab a 13.5, get powered more often. Next time you find yourself in the market for a kite, please consider shopping on BigAirKite.com. We've got all the best Big Air Kite and gear in stock, such as the all new Core XR7, which has just been released. You can win two XR7s, coaching from Yannick Jagrzewski and coaching from me. You just gotta follow the link down below and find out how. The third reason is that crashes hurt less. You're gonna feel more comfortable to experiment and try new things on a bigger kite. Because if you're on a 13.5 meter, you're probably out there when it's like 16, 17 knots. And if you go for say a back roll and mistakenly pull a kite loop, it's not gonna hurt that bad. But if you're out on a seven meter and it's 30 knots, you go for a back roll and you pull a kite loop, that sucks, we've probably all been there. And the fourth reason is that bigger kites move slower and they give you more air time. So that means that when you're going for rotations, you're not as likely to steer it out of the sky by mistake, just with a little unintentional pull of the hand. And you're also gonna have more time to try new things like board offs, more rotations, combinations of the above. So guys, bigger kites are super awesome. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you've enjoyed it, please be sure to give it a little thumbs up so YouTube knows it's pretty sick. <laughs> and if you want to watch more Just the Tip Tuesdays, please be sure to subscribe to my channel. If you've got any questions, as always, just drop them in the comments and I'll be sure to get back to you. Muchos besos. Adios. Let me tell you what I love about an XR7. It's got great resale value huge wind range, it's great for massive jumps, and whether you're a beginner or a pro, it's a great kite for you. You can get it at BigAirKite.com.